the canton of Bern, close to the small village of Kandersteg, at 1578 meters above sea level lies Oeschinensee. With an area of 1114 square kilometers, it's one of the larger mountain lakes in Switzerland. Surrounded by peaks like the Dindenhorn, Wildifrau or Doldenhorn, the lake with its turquoise color is one of the most beautiful locations you can travel to in Switzerland. Already the drive here passing Brienzersee into Laken and Thunersee is incredibly beautiful. Train services also run directly to Handersteg. In winter we came here by train. Today we are enjoying the drive. Given the popularity of the lake, there is ample parking close to the gondola station and in the village. The ticket up and down is 32 francs or 16 with a half tax for an adult. So, we're here, Kandersteg, back at the Oeschinensee. It's one of the most beautiful located lakes I've seen in Switzerland. The mountains surrounding it are covered with snow, some glaciers on the top. It's incredibly beautiful. We have been here before, but today we're doing a hike that we haven't done so far. Going up a bit to the left, there should be some nice hiking trail up there. So, yeah, hope you will join us today and enjoy the video. So we just turned from the first path up onto the hiking trail. Oh man, this seems to be incredibly crowded. There's just groups of tourists coming up here. I just hope it's not going to be too bad. The path we're doing today is categorized as T3 on the Swiss hiking scale, so an alpine mountain path. For a T3 you don't require special gear, but you should be sure-footed and free of vertigo. The path covers 527 meters of altitude gain across a distance of 8.4 kilometers. Overall it should take about 3 hours to complete. The path is open from June to October, usually, depending on the weather, and on a sunny day will be incredibly crowded. The area around Oshinsee is declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. To maintain the beauty of the land you should follow the outdoor guidelines as put forward by the local authorities. We will link the guidelines down below, but let me summarize some of the most important ones. Obviously you should not litter. There's official trash cans, so only use them to get rid of your garbage. There's no wild camping and you should stay on the paths while you're hiking. Drones are no longer allowed in the entire Oshinsee area. Finally, especially on the narrow mountain pass, dogs are to be kept on a leash. 
Also, while this is not an official rule, please be mindful of your fellow hikers. We have seen way too many people blocking the entire pass to take their Instagram photos. You should be aware that this is a mountain path, but for the most part it is easy to walk on. We highly recommend taking the upper part first, as most people are walking in that direction. A few seconds along the trail will be protected by ropes and chains. Along the path you'll also encounter a few viewpoints that allow you a great view of the lake without blocking the path for other hikers. The waterfalls flowing down into Ishinzi are already a pretty sight from up here. If you want to get closer to them you can rent a boat down at the lakeside.
halfway through the hike you will find a bunch of huts that sell drinks, a few snacks and allow you to go to the bathroom. The descent back to the lake features a few small segments with loose gravel. Here having proper hiking boosts seemed to pay off, but for the most part people also seemed to be fine in trail running shoes or sneakers. On the way back we were also given a stark reminder why it is always important to verify trail conditions when you are up hiking in the mountains. Some of the trails opposite to the one we were taking were close due to heavy rockfall and we were able to witness this ourselves. If you want to get a closer look at the waterfalls, you can rent a boat at the Schienensee Direct. One boat fits four people and the rent for an hour is 32 francs. The hour is just about enough to get to the waterfall and back and enjoy a few moments watching them. You can pay the 32 francs either cash or by credit card. Ha <laughs> ha 
so we're almost back at the gondola. I have to say, this has to be one of the most beautiful hikes we've done here in Switzerland, but at the same time, it is so incredibly overcrowded. Like, it is incredible how many people are away here. Yeah, there are so many really nice places here in Switzerland, but somehow everyone seems to gather here. If you made it until here, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and would want to reward us for our work, please share it with someone else and press the like button. It really helps out with the algorithm. Thank you so much and we hope to see you again soon.